tonight on Bondi Rescue. Meet the new kids on the block. He's just been out training and the girls are in love with him. Wait till he does a real rescue. Got a couple of things in store for you today, Kyle. Have a bite of your pie. <laughs> you ready? There's a slippery situation between the flags. He's a big boy, isn't he? A sudden chase and it's cops and robbers on the beach. Come on, mate. Look, hey. Place of work, Bombay Beach. Occupation, saving lives. Could this be the world's best job? Come to the beach, look at it. Like, this is, this is the office. You won't get rich, but when you're guarding lives, the rewards are priceless. It feels weird to say, but I kind of just say that guy's life, and it's pretty unreal, really. I got the head, I got the head. Let's go. I've seen a couple of deceased bodies now, and that's exactly what her face looked like. To see her open her eyes five minutes later. You're okay, you're okay, relax. Relax, you're okay. It's the best feeling in the world. Not everyone has what it takes to become a Bondi lifeguard. But perhaps this kid does. Trent Maxwell is the youngest ever trainee lifeguard to join the team. Please call me Maxi, I'm 16. I'm very enthusiastic. I'm keen to work here for 50 more years. It's an ideal job for me. Like the whole family's in like the Ambos and the Fireys. Don't want to be the boss like Hopper. I just want to be your team leader. It'll be a circus if I'm the boss. Maxie's been training hard for his first official patrol. He's busting to show he's got what it takes to become a fully fledged lifeguard. Not many people could say they get their dream jobs at 16 in life. It's a job where you save lives and it's a big responsibility. I'm really stoked. You're the man, Maxie. I love you. He's proved he's got many of the skills, but how will he cope with the attention? How about a round of applause, girls, for Maxie? Girls are all over him, look. He's just been out training and the girls are in love with him. Wait till he does a real rescue. <laughs> Blue sky, warm water and gentle swell. It's Maxie's first official day on duty as lifeguards keep watch over 15,000 beachgoers. Maxie's on patrol with Matt, but has philosophical matters on his mind. How many grains of sand you reckon are in that? There's more grains of sand on this beach than there is stars in the sky. Is that While Maxi chews on those thoughts, Dino spots two tourists drifting out to sea. Yeah, copy, mate. What do you reckon? The friend that's holding on. Yeah, you're going to have to go, for sure. As senior lifeguards stand by, Maxi's big moment has come. Just a couple of Asian tourists in trouble. They've got a floaty device. Young Maxie's going out to, to help them get back in, and they're sort of starting to struggle a bit. Maxie makes quick progress. The swell is only small, but he's right in the impact zone. For safety, he should keep his back to the waves. Oh, back of the head. Maxie just got smashed there. He just got smoked. He's still got a lot of learning to do, young Maxie. No, 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 the other way, the other way, the other way. Maxie's also having trouble making himself understood. No, no, the other way, the other way. No, 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 no. It'd be interesting to see if he can get her in without nose diving. Are we uh, laying beds here, Tommy? Bet it's in there. Oh, I don't like his positioning. No, too far forward. I'm tipping he is gone. A quick shuffle backwards, and it's a textbook ride back to shore. Oh, oh eat my words, he's done, done exceptional. Get that up, yeah, get that up. So, the young gun did really well then. With his first rescue in the bag, he heads straight back out to get the woman's friend. Now it's time for some surf safety basics. And when you get in trouble, put your hand up. Don't try and get in, you'll just get tight. OK? All right, enjoy your stay. Thank you. You can tell that they're not local. They can't really understand what I was saying. They're just nodding, so hopefully they get the message. Who knows, I might be rescuing them tomorrow, you know? Pretty, pretty sick being the first rescue. 
Maxie's only 16. He's keen, he's great in the water, but it's hard for a young kid because there's a lot of distractions. You know, I mean, a lot of beautiful women on the beach and so much going on on this beach, so it's hard to keep your focus. Maxie's proved he can handle the basic rescues, but can he cope with the distractions of being a Bombay lifeguard? Ah! Maxie's the youngest rookie, but now the lifeguards are about to co-op some international experience. From the monster waves of the North Shore to the savage shore break of the southern coast, lifeguards in Oahu face danger every day on every side of the island. They would have heaps of spinals there. That's pretty solid, mate. Pretty much no doubt he's going to be pretty good in the water. It's just how he goes with 40,000 people on Bondi Beach. Halfway across the Pacific, there's a ring in coming, all the way from Hawaii. Kyle Payo has been a lifeguard on Hawaii's North Shore for five years. Big waves and beautiful beaches are his life. I grew up right across the street from this beach, this Keiki Beach. Just born and raised right here, so I learned how to swim, surf, dive, everything. Friendly people, nice atmosphere. I mean, look, look, look at my beach, this is my front yard right here. Beautiful but dangerous. To me, it's the greatest spot on earth. North Shore lifeguards only conduct 300 rescues a year, a tenth of those at Bondi, but they're often in massive waves. Now, Kyle has been seconded to bring his big wave skills to Bondi for a six week transfer. He's doing some homework watching past episodes of Bondi Rescue. Oh my god, it pulled back. Pretty much, uh, I think it's 140 rescues for the day. Oh, absolute really sheer chaos. Traveling is the best thing for you. Like seeing how the, those lifeguards over there run their operations. Oh It'll be good. I'll definitely learn something from them, and hopefully they'll learn something from me. Don't get buried down there. Hey, you kidding me? It's the last thing on my mind. OK, buddy, be safe, have okay, fun. Yeah. Make us proud. Oh. As Kyle wings his way to Sydney, the lifeguards head out to greet him. Problem is, they've got no idea what he looks like. There he is. Is that him? Kyle. Oh. Here he comes. Kyle. 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 What's his name? Hawaiian looking dude, surfy looking dude, no? He just got not right. here. He just got right today. Yeah, the flight was all right, you know. It's a little bit bumpy, some turbulence cup. You know, I'm pretty confident in us winning this season. Are you Kyle? No. What are you I doing either? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> nice <No>, try. <laughs> Oh, yeah, this is him for sure. Kyle? Kyle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> How are you, mate? Yeah, yeah. Welcome, Welcome Kyle. Appreciate you going. Uh, Bobby, mate. Bobby. Kyle. How are you, champ? Very Rod? Good. How are you, mate? Kyle. Rod, how are you? Nice to meet you. So you be looking forward to a beer and a pie, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 I was thinking about my whole way. <laughs> We've got oh, something for you, don't yeah, we? Yeah. <laughs> Off a <laughs> Minutes later, Carl finds himself in a strange park, in strange clothes, with four strange men. Welcome to Australia. We've got a couple of things in store for you today, Carl. Just a couple of little initiations. Um, we'd like to put every Hawaiian that comes to Australia through. Um, first of all, we've given you the, the um, standard Aussie attire for the lifeguards. We've got a meat pie for you. The traditional Aussie and, meat pie. And a schooner of beer. He's going to give you a pie, you're going to have a bite. Skull of the beer, and then gonna put up a bomb, and you gotta catch the bomb. And if you fail to catch the bomb, you just gotta keep doing it until you do. Until you do. Catch the bomb. Sweet. Yeah. Have a bite of your pie! <laughs> you ready? <laughs> Give it, let it, make it sing, yeah? There it goes! That was enormous. That was enormous. <laughs> <laughs> That's well done. I'll give you five for that. Really? And he's got the beard out. Yes, well done. Uh, that was f***ing gold. All right, Ed, can you put some pants on? You're embarrassing yourself. <laughs> <laughs>
Before Kyle pulls on the lifeguard uniform, Hoppo needs to be sure he passes muster. Maybe you're ready, I'm ready. He looks like he's got the ocean swimmer straight where they're a bit more choppy, and uh, but that gets them higher out of the water rather than a pool swimmer's more streamlined. It's not a pretty sight as Kyle begins an 800 metre swim. He makes the distance with 30 seconds to spare. Doesn't matter how good a pool swimmer you are, all that goes out the window when the surf's big. And he goes, mate, you're scratching for your life. He said, I can handle it, I can swim as fast as any of you blokes. That was 13, so that's good. Finally, another endurance test. At Bondi, a soft sand run, a 500 metre surf swim, another run, and a 500 metre board paddle in under 25 minutes. Kyle's being paced by Brooke and Maxi. It's a chance for Kyle to show how he performs in the ocean. But young Maxi decides to turn on the heat. Maxi, he's finished and he's done uh, 22 minutes. Maxi crosses the line first with Brooke and Kyle close behind. The Hawaiian is impressed with young Maxi's effort. He's fast. He's good in the water. Strong swimmer. He'll be a good life threat for years to come. Now I'll just give you a uniform and put that on. You're ready to start. Get out there and uh, maybe get in to do some rescues. Right on. Yeah. Happy to be here. Yeah, beautiful. But some of the lifeguards aren't so impressed with Kyle's first outing. Kyle's just been beaten by our only female lifeguard and a 16 year old. He doesn't look super fit. The main thing is whether he's on the ball, ready to go when it hits the fan, so to speak. Perhaps being a Bondi lifeguard might be tougher than Kyle imagined. He's about to find out. Bondi, midsummer. The beach is full and the rips are running. It's a long way from Hawaii and Kyle is about to get a lesson in what being a Bondi lifeguard is all about. His first shift starts in half an hour. He's coming early to hang out. Yeah, I'm definitely nervous. I mean, new beach, new place, first time I've ever worked here. I mean, I've been a lifeguard for almost five years, but I still get nervous. Oh, my kid. That's okay. Pop, pop your wrist. Pop your wrist. Maxi is called to a wrist injury at the skate park. Kyle tags along. What's up? We're gonna pop wrist. Oh, just pop you guys wrist. Here? Yeah, pop wrist. All right, righty. Yeah. But suddenly, there's a commotion. Lifeguards scramble on an urgent pursuit. Three teenagers have been reported stealing on the beach. They stole, they stole some bloke's phone. A couple of others running around. But, uh, where's your mate going, you reckon? The victim is Luciano, a 22-year-old backpacker from Italy. When I was about to reach my bag, I saw them trying to open it, and the guy took the phone off. And I said, what are you doing? And he said, I thought it was my father's bag. Can we get it back? Meanwhile, Azza has caught a second suspect behind the pavilion. Back at the tower, things are turning nasty. Put the camera up before I smash it! Come on, mate. Whoa, hey! Lifeguards have apprehended two suspected thieves and are hunting a third. Get the camera off my front drop, yeah! Hoppo and Terry caught the third suspect in a hotel car park. Found him in the Swiss Grand. When I came back, and I see three kids in there, and then the cops are coming, and sirens are going, and just chaos. They told me it was going to be like that, just non-stop action, and I seen it firsthand. Pull your head in. Uh, maybe you've learned a lesson out of it. Hey, he's throwing it in the back. He had his phone, and he gave it back. Well, that's all right, then. Police are going to come down, have a word with you. Yeah. You said you've done nothing wrong, you've done nothing wrong. How old are you guys? 13. 13? Do you guys have any ideas? Um, yeah. no. no? Do you know why you're here? Um, we took the phone. You took a phone. 
you understand that you're not free to leave the three at this stage. Okay? Dino decides not to press assault charges. You know, it's just a disgusting, despicable act of stealing people's stuff, so... You know, and he's trying to attack me and assault me, so my, my heart rate's elevated. There's been an allegation made. Like hang on a sec. Just hang on. We're going to bring all three of you... Sit down. Hey, sit you're not down. free to leave. You've been told that, I told that, you, mate. Spain, you're not free to leave. The three of you will be brought back to the police station. Don't get upset. We'll take your... Hey! That's it. Get him up. Take him to the truck. You two, stay put. You're going to drag the other in handcuffs or you're going to come walking out nicely? Hey, Jules, sorry. Wipe the tears off your eyes. It's unreal to catch them. You, you know, most of the time we're too busy to be chasing after them and they get away, but at least this might send a message to all of those kids that come down stealing bags and hopefully it'll deter them a little bit. The three boys were cautioned by police with their parents, but escaped charges. After the sudden baptism of fire, Kyle has earned the honour of pulling on the baggy blue. A lot of great men have gotten the, uh, this uniform down here at Bondi, so we've got another one now initiated into the uh, group, so there's a couple of shirts for you, a couple of board shorts for you. There's some crucial fashion tips from Quiggers. I don't know whether it'll be really in his culture to be wearing uh, speedos around the beach. You start hanging out with Harry's a little bit too much, then you, you know, you might get a little bit more used to it, but uh, speedos under the shorts, for sure. Oh, Kyle's in his uniform. Yeah, ready to go. You look better than us. <laughs> <laughs> this is wrong. <laughs> You're going to get married for sure down here. <laughs> oh, she's Before rich. you even rescue someone. <laughs> <laughs> the brand new Boy in Blue gets a briefing from Hoppo. A lot of the rescues are down south. Um, you get this hole here off between third and second ramp. We get a lot of poor, like really poor swimmers. Oh, yeah, man. Uh, something that can sort of just get their arms over. The, the yeah, they've never seen right the ocean in. before. I mean, they look at this and go, oh, it's nice and calm. They jump in and they'll start running out a bit later on, and that's where they get themselves into trouble. So. I'm, I'm not used to these kind of crowds, and I'm in a new place, new environment. It's my first day. Still a little got those first day jitters. See, there's three people there on those little floating, one's on a bodyboard and those other little floating snake things. They're the type of people, and it's not pulling that much yet, but they're still sort of struggling against it. Yeah, yeah, they don't really realise the danger. No, until... they don't really know. Yeah. You see the uh, Indians, they like going in the water with fully clothed, long pants. As Hoppo explains the ins and outs of life-saving, the hypothetical is becoming very real. If he couldn't touch the bottom, he wouldn't get in. You might be up to your first rescue in a minute. You might walk down the board and just... Yeah, he needs help. Here you go, here you go, you go in. Just two hours into his patrol, Kyle heads in for his first Bondi rescue. Yeah, Bondi Central, just, uh, Kyle's going in. This is binoculars, I'll have a look at him. He might be the fastest swimmer, but he paddles like a demon. You got out of there pretty quick, bro. He's done good. First one out of the way, monkey off the back. This will be the right place, right time. It's gonna be pretty stoked with this one, I think. That's the number one. See what I mean? How bad some of them are. Get the blood. Adrenaline guy. <laughs> That's good. Uh, I was trying to help, 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 and he came and he missed me. I'm very thankful for his. He gave me new life. Kyle hasn't had time to dry off before the alarm sounds again. Yeah, they're actually waving, mate. You probably can see them. Someone's got to get out there. I think they're just waving for to get someone there. It's more the older guy, I think. Yeah, I'll just stand by. I'll see how Kyle goes here. If you might need a hand, he might not. Just hang on. One's definitely gone. Kyle's out there. Look at him go. He's a big bloke too. He's going to probably struggle here trying to get this bloke in here. He's a big boy, isn't he? Real big. The man is well over 100 kilos. Kyle struggles to keep him on the rescue board.
Being in the surf zone doesn't make it any easier. Now, there's more for lifeguards to worry about. A couple of young Asian kids, you're going to have to go for them. Two lifeguards head out, including young Maxi. A calm day is rapidly becoming dangerous. Not even swimming between the flags is safe. Out to your right. Right at the back of the flags there, they've got a little flash rip just, just formed up. There's no water getting back out. It's just spinning and spinning. Hoppo clears people away from the rip. Catch all the swimmers here. These currents are starting to pull out. You need to move further up, well up to the north there, away from this area. As Whippet and Maxi bring swimmers to safety, Kyle still has his hands full. Any balance at all? Michael's 19 and wants to become a fitness instructor. Thanks for the help, friend. I was slippery with the sunscreen. I couldn't grab him. That was a good one. I got out there and I was trying to grab him. and He's got the sunscreen on. He kept slipping. And it's a big boy right here. I was trying to get him on and too far forward. We we're pearly. But we got him in. I'm not watching the swimmers, to be honest. Just came out here for a bit of fun. And just got a bit deep. Kyle is not done yet. The jet ski's called to another struggling swimmer. Kyle decides he can get out there faster. In this case, he's right. Not bad, mate. You beat the jet ski out there. I mean, I seen you calling for a minute. Yeah, yeah. We didn't hear you. I was like, I better get out there. What about the speed you've got on the board? Fly. Really? Yeah, you beat the jet ski out there for a second, mate. Yeah. There's no way you're going to let him beat you. I see what he's got. Kyle has done more rescues in a single day than he would in weeks back home. I was grabbing a guy and on the way in, I didn't even know, but there's four other guys that got into trouble. It just seemed like we were just going in and out, in and out after a while. These guys are unreal. They're on it. I mean, they take their job serious and it shows. I mean, you have to be with how poor these people swim here. I mean, they could, yeah, you could go under at any second, whether they know it or not. By the end of Kyle's first day, the Bondi lifeguards have caught three thieves and rescued 20 swimmers. And that was a quiet day. I'm tired. I'm exhausted. Definitely. Back at Kerbox's house, Kyle reflects on the life of a Bondi lifeguard. I used to so much action all day. Funny it is, but mate, we gotta go back it up and do it all again tomorrow. Know, that's the thing. <laughs> Next on Bondo Rescue, right, a drug bust on the beach, a romantic swim goes terribly wrong. I was thinking I'm gonna die or something, you know. A runaway lost child. He gets a scream out for his dad, but he doesn't want me to get near him. Maxie gets a serve from his seniors. Oh, it's water. I don't even need to have his head fucked out of the toilet. 